Do you have enemies? That is the one thing we wish we do not have. Some of us have many enemies, and you know it for sure if you do. You may have hurt other people physically or emotionally at one time or another, whether intentionally or not. And, and those people have sworn to be your worst enemies, and they will work against your well-being. They may file a complaint against you, uh, file a case against you, send thugs to threaten you or, or to even harm you. So you are always on your guard to defend yourself and, and protect yourself from harm. This is not a fun way to live. Some of us believe we have no enemies, but <laughs> you can never be too sure. Because whether you like it or not, whether you mean it or not, you will say certain things or do certain things that other people may interpret as being said or done against them. Actually, pwede nga, wala ka naman talagang ginagawa. Pero may nagiging kaaway ka dahil marahil naiingit sa'yo. O basta ayaw lang sa pagbumukha mo. Or, or what you say and do make them look bad. O kaya naman ay yung, yung estado mo, yung prinsipyo mo, o ang posisyon mo sa buhay ay hadlang sa gusto nilang mangyari. And so for these people, you are the enemy. Your enemies will oppose you. Your, your enemies do not have your best interest in mind. And unfortunately, when they pursue their own best interest, it may mean putting you in harm's way. Sometimes when you do the right thing, the result may be against their interest, which means they have to do everything to stop you or to take you down. And when they do hit you, every single part of your being will tell you to hit back. An eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. That's the way the world works, right? But if you are a follower of Jesus, he commands you to do the exact opposite. In the Gospel according to Matthew, Jesus made these mind-boggling statements. You have heard that it was said, you shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you so that you may be sons of your Father who is in heaven. For he makes his sun rise on the evil and on the good, and sends rain on the just and on the unjust. Your enemies are just like you, people made in the image of God. They may be overcome with hatred against you, they may plot and connive and lay out traps for you. They may mean to cause you harm. But God loves them. Jesus died for them as well. They too need a Savior. And so Jesus commands us to, to love them and pray for them. By doing so, we become more and more like like sons of our Father in heaven. We become more and more conformed to the image of Christ Jesus, our Lord. As we strive to be perfect in the eyes of God, as we learn to love our enemies, may we always keep in mind, faith matters too.